Okay, what's up fellow collectors, Hot Toys fans, YouTubers? I'm back with another review of a Hot Toys figure. And this time it's Abigail Whistler from the movie Blade Trinity. I just reviewed her a couple of... Um, sorry, I just unboxed her a couple of days ago. So it's time to review this, uh, this nice uh, piece of art. Um, yeah, so you can see uh, I will always uh, review the box. It's a nice box, standard box. I've seen this box before, um, Wolverine had this box and Blade Wasting Snipes. So you can see it's a nice silvery box with a nice picture of uh, Abigail Whistler. On the side you see also a picture of Abigail Whistler, very nice. And at the back you see the, the crew who worked on this figure. The head art director is Julie and the um, head sculptor is Lee So Young. And I must say he did a good job. Uh, I think the, the head sculpt is de uh, spot on, so I really like it. And in real life, uh, it's more, uh, yeah, it's more uh, spot on, so I will let you see it in a minute. So, this is the box. Nice box. Uh, it's the same if you open it, you, you will see also a picture of uh, Abigail Whistler. And in the back of this uh, cover, uh, you have all the accessories. And I must say, she comes with a lot of accessories. It's unbelievable. I will show, I will show you it right now. Here she is. I haven't put her jacket on, but I will display her with her nice leather jacket. Um, yeah, I just want you to see what... You can see my, my display stand is full of her accessories. It's unfreaking believable. First of all, this nice uh, bow can see it's also the bow she's um, she displays uh, on the on the box like that uh, she comes with another bow the silver one with the blue string and it comes with an unfolded uh, bow and in the description it already says that uh, you can't unfold it it's just uh, like this so otherwise it will break uh, she comes with uh, in total six possible hands, uh, three with uh, one she also uh, already uh, comes with, and two with the fist and the trigger or the bow finger, so you can see, and and two without the glove. Nice. Um, yeah, uh, she comes with the cool uh, leather jacket. It's real freaking detailed with all the stitchings and also the I like this the zipper that all can unzip all the way up to her um, shoulders. Very cool. I want to display her with the with the jacket. I like my um, figures uh, to be fully uh, uh, yeah uh, dressed or armed. What you can what you what do you want to call it? But uh, you will see it later on. <laughs> I'm gonna fully uh, dress her. This is a, a bag for her arrows, and she comes with a lot of arrows. A lot of arrows without the silver tip. See, I only got three arrows with the silver tip, and uh, uh, how many? Five without it. And I think, yeah, I know for a fact these are the ones you put in the in the bag. So it looks like she's fully packed with all the arrows. So that's what I'm gonna do also. It comes also with a kind of wrist, uh, yeah, they call it. I don't know exactly what it is, but I must figure it out later on. And also with this. I don't know what the fuck. Oh, sorry, sorry for my French. What the? Uh, what is this for? If, buddy, if somebody knows, uh, just uh, comment me, please, <laughs> because I don't know why what it is, but I will figure it out. And yeah, this was, that was about it. It also comes with three kind of tubes. And here uh, the comes the, the here you put the arrows in for in the bag eventually. So guys. Uh, I will give you a quick 360. Let me see. I have to find a switch. Silly CCC. Yeah, right here it is. 
Oh guys, the battery is not in. Wait for one sec, guys. Okay, guys, this is 360 of Elega uh, Whistler. So you can see she also has a nice uh, outfit on. Great black, uh, brown leather pants, nice boots. Oh, now I see where the blades goes in. I was looking for this. Uh, she got, comes with one uh, single blade. And I was wondering where it was for, but I see in the tip of her uh, shoe, you can put it in there. Nice, nice. So I will display it also with that. And I like the the leather uh, arm piece with also the stitchings and everything. Nice. And she's got a great body uh, suit on. If you notice, she doesn't. You don't see the uh, the joints. So the articulation points. So it's nice. And I like the hair. hair yeah, the hair sculpt. It's also sculpted. I know some figures comes with uh, with real hair or you can, yeah like Barbie hair. <laughs> uh, I know that um, the Sarah Connor T thousand uh, comes with that hair, uh, and I think uh, the Black Widow of Iron Man comes also with uh, with with that kind of hair. So I don't know how it's how it is in real life, but I like the sculpted hair. It looks good. Um, okay guys, I for now I want to put my other lens on so we can go to the detail of this figure. And uh, just give me one sec. Check you later. Yo, what's up guys? Here she is, Abigail Whistler. Very nice. I like her head sculpt a lot. Very female like. And I think it's uh, spot on man. Spot on, Jessica Biel. What I already told you, I like the uh, the hair sculpt. It's also molded. So, um, if you a quick turn, it's very cool. And uh, I so you can see I I put on her uh, leather jacket and the arrows are on her back and uh, fortunately uh, it wasn't that hard to put on the jacket because of the zippers that they, they go way back uh, way up to their to her uh, shoulders so that was uh, quite uh, easy to uh, put on and Okay, so you can see it's nice stitching. I like the leather jacket, the brown one. Look at the belt, all the belts, belt buckle, the leather pants. And I must say, I think it's a real sexy kind of figure. Don't get me wrong, guys, but <laughs> she looks very hot. <laughs> yeah, hot toys. <laughs> so uh, they did a good job. What was his name again? Lee So Young. I couldn't remember any figure that he made, but I should look for it. Okay, I have a poster with her, uh, with one of her bows. It's a nice one with the black and red uh, strings. I like this one, and I have a poster with an arrow with a silver tip nice uh, so you can see I also put the blade in the shoe very lethal <laughs> real cool I like her boots by the way also great detail and of course her nameplate Abigail Whistler and the blade Trinity logo I must say I haven't seen that movie all the way uh, till the end but 
I definitely want to see it again, especially uh, because I have her now in my collection. Okay guys, uh, please comment me and otherwise I will look it up on uh, YouTube. Uh, what I have to do with this man. <laughs> um, I now put it on on the other bow, the, the straps. But I don't know if I did it quite right, I don't think so. And do I mount it on her legs or something like that? I still have to figure that out. And this one, I think you have to mount it on her wrist. But I still haven't done it yet. I have to look look it up at others, other reviews of, uh, of the collectors. And that was uh, that was about it, guys. I I hope I have. I hope you like uh, watching the the fit. Um, soon I have uh, great. I, 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 by the way, I have some great news. Last uh, uh, last time with my other uh, video of my collection. I I don't know know if you uh, watch it, but you should watch it. Um, and I mentioned that I had to, I still had to have uh, an Iron Man Mark II, and I told in that fit that it was, uh, yeah, I was planning to get it, and, and if I could find it, I should pay the ponies for that. But somebody uh, put it on the marketplace again, and for a very good deal, and it's brand new. So I will be reviewing that bad guy uh, soon. Uh, I, I I don't have it uh, um, uh, uh, with me yet, but soon I, he will uh, send it. And I have another uh, Hot Toys figure coming up. It's uh, Sarah Connor of the Terminator 2 series. So that is one of uh, the things that's coming up. And as promised, I still have to have a, a review of the Predator 2 normal version. And soon I will... Uh, uh, put it on YouTube. For now, this was Toys for Real. Uh, thanks for watching. Subscribe, comment, and check in. Check you later, guys. Peace.